Okay, it's October, it's time to get focused, and we wanna finish the year strong. So today I'm gonna to give you four ways that you're gonna do so. We gotta understand that September was used to drop all of our bad habits, and we gotta understand that now that it's the fall, it's darker, we're getting the blues, we need to revisit our goals, and lastly, we need to take action. Now the first way to finish this year strong is that we gotta understand September isn't the focus month. If we can build up some good habits in September, which ride us into October, October is much easier than September. So if you didn't do as well as you thought you would to start the September month off, don't worry about it. Because we gotta understand that we're breaking all those bad habits that we had in June, July, and all of August. Most of us, in fact, said this was our last time in August and we went on a crazy binge. And how many of us have ever done a binge and then Monday we start fresh and super struggle? Well, we did all of August where we binged, we were drinking, we are snacking, we are staying up late, and maybe we were missing workouts due to travel or going on outings or the cabin or whatever it is. So September is probably the toughest month to get back on track. I would say it's even tougher than January. Everybody thinks, well, January comes around and uh, you know it's gonna be hard because after Christmas, but Christmas is only like a couple weeks, right? Like, yeah, sure, we might be super popular and we might get a couple events that stretch out through the entire month, but it's really only 28 days. Whereas the summer, again, some of us started summer in May. So we got May, June, July, and all of August, and probably a little bit of the beginning of September. That's four months of bad habits. And so we gotta not be so damn hard on ourselves and say, listen, I did a couple good things in September. Sure, it wasn't as perfect as April, but I'm building back on track. And everything that you've done and you've maintained throughout the summer, so if you made a good chunk of workouts and there were days or weeks that you're focused on clean eating, then those are all gonna add up. In September, October, you're gonna see your best results. So don't give up because September wasn't your best month. What you need to do is say, okay, I've got all that out of the way. I've dropped all my bad habits from the summer. I'm now focused and dialed in until December, and December is gonna go by quick. The second thing is we have to understand that the fall comes with fall blues. There's less sun, especially if you're from Winnipeg, which means that we're outside less, we're getting less exposure to the sun, which makes us feel great, warm, and happy. We're getting less fresh air, and now there's less social events. Whereas in the summer, we're out seeing people having fun, laughing, drinking, eating, whatever it is, and now we're around less people because why? It's dark out, it's cold, I don't really wanna go outside. And so what ends up happening is all this pleasure system that we got overrided into the summer months is now being stripped away, right? We're starting to feel the cold, our joints hurt a little bit more, we're seeing less people, we're getting less sun, and as such, we're gonna naturally feel down. But here's the thing, I just told you that so it's not because you're feeling off or you're having a bad week or a bad month, it's just natural. We're getting less sun exposure, we're seeing less people, we're getting less fresh air. We're naturally not gonna feel as good as we did in the summer months. So what we can do is we can get into number three is revisit our goals. And we can see where we are in relation to those goals and we gotta understand are we up or are we down when it comes to what we're trying to focus on. Think about how your clothes are fitting at this point and where we want them to fit down the road. And then we gotta think about, okay, how many workouts did we do all summer? Can we beat that? And so we understand that the blues are naturally here and they're gonna be here until we get some summer months. And now we can focus and say, okay, I no longer have all these like outings that I gotta go to. I don't have to take care of the cabin anymore. I can just stay inside, I can do my work, do my kids events or whatever it is and just focus on me in the gym. This is the best time for you to stay focused and eat clean and if you're eating clean and you're taking care of your body and you're doing your workouts five, six days a week, you're gonna naturally feel happy because all these positive things that you're doing to your body. Think about it. In the summer, we would eat bad or maybe we'd you know, drink and get a hangover. Do we feel good after we've binge eat? Do we feel good the morning after we had a major bender? No. Right, but now you're staying focused. You did a workout. Do you always feel better after a workout, especially a fit club workout? Yes, you do. Do you always feel better after you've eaten a couple days clean? The clothes start to feel better, you're flushing better, your, your, your skin is clear. Yes, so now this is your opportunity to reverse the fall blues, focus on yourself, and give yourself more opportunity to do good for yourself. And the last but not least is we can't sit around anymore, okay? We have less distractions, we're being 
not being pulled into a vacation or the cabin or a friend's outing, it's time to get focused on that goal. October is the best month for it. We got rid of September. You know, September's done. It's already done. We're going to focus on now building a best October, November. And in December, we'll do some like, we'll do some like, you know, just taking care of it so that you don't go over too much, right? But in the end, if you put in two solid months right now, all of October, all of November, then December, yeah, sure, you'll struggle a little bit, but guess what's right around the corner? The new year. And everybody's focused in the new year, including you. And then we've got from January until May to just be super dialed in. That's when the best results are gonna happen. But if we can build up the habits right now where we look at our goal, we put a plan of action together, we find our sources of accountability, whether that be fit club coaches, belly burn coaches, your family or whatever it is, we get the accountability, but most importantly, we build consistency from now until next summer. Next summer, the start of next summer is gonna be way better than your last summer. So there we have it guys. Fall is here, it's October. We have an opportunity to wipe away September, get focused for two months, look at our goals, take action and be consistent. And if you're gonna do that guys, Give the video a like, show me some love, show the Fit Club team some love. And if you're looking to get started with us either virtually so we can train you while you're at home or you're looking to come in person and get your butt kicked by myself and my coaches, then head on over to our website, www.fitclub.fit and hit the get started button.